What's up, peoples? Yeah, I'm here. It's early. it's very, very early in the morning. It's a four o'clock in the morning. And I I was sleeping. I woke up. I found out about the fights. I looked at the fights. Terrence Crawford versus Amir Khan and Danny Garcia versus um, Adrian Granados. And I got to say, the more impressive fight for me was seeing Dan, um, Danny Garcia beat Adrian Granados by stoppage. That was impressive. Now, the stoppage of Granados in the seventh round wasn't necessary because Granados was out on his feet. It wasn't anything like that. But um, Garcia decided to dominate Granados from round five. And he was landing more and more frequently on Granados. So I, and he dropped him like three times in the whole fight, or four times, I think it was. So, you know, Danny Garcia really impressed me in that performance. Um, I want to find out what you guys thought about that. Um, he's the only guy to ever stop Adrian Granados, ever. Of course, again, you could say the referee kind of intervened because Adrian Granados is a guy he can take a punch can ride punches and stuff Adrian was not responding by landing any shots on Danny Garcia or throwing any shots he was very defensive but still at the same time um you know I wish the ref had let it go on a little bit more for Adrian Granados' sake but obviously Adrian Granados was losing that fight heavy and Danny Garcia was dominating that was an impressive performance by Danny Garcia against a guy who had never been stopped. You know, he'd been dropped, but he'd never been stopped. And is a damn good boxer at that. So, that was an impressive win. Terrence Crawford versus Amir Khan pretty much went the way how I thought it was going to go because there's a lot of intel on Amir Khan. And Terrence Crawford, I think, caught him with a straight right followed by a left hook that put him down. All right? Um... <laughs> What I told you. That's what he, he he's susceptible to those punches. And Crawford did his homework, walked down Khan, basically got the stoppage in the sixth round. After a low blow, Khan's corner or Khan's team decided they're not continuing and the fight was stopped. American was dropped in the very first round of the fight. And Terrence Crawford basically dominated American. Dominated him. Completely shut him out. Um a couple things you'll see with Danny Garcia and with Terrence Crawford. They, again, the rule of being first. Be first. That helps you to dictate a fight. So if you're coming out there, popping your jab, you know, it's good. Danny Garcia impressed me with his inside fighting. Even though, again, like Floyd Mayweather, he uses his jab to kind of keep the guy off of him. So... He's more a mid-range fighter, but he can also fight on the inside, and he picks his shots off. So that was pretty good. Then he got to see a broke down Adrian Grass to the body. Terrence Crawford did that in later rounds, I think round three and onwards. He started breaking down Khan to the body. So I was very impressed with Terrence Crawford's fight against Amir Khan, but it was expected that he would knock out Amir Khan. I told you guys, it's guaranteed. It's guaranteed Amir Khan was going to get knocked out. And exactly that, except the Khan actually chose the easier route, which was he got a little blow and he said, you know, I'm not continuing. It's all good. It just shows how much a punishment he was taking. Um, so those are the two major fights that I talk about. This is Tiafiero Lopez, Shakur Stevenson, and so on. But I'll talk about those at a later time. I just wanted to give you guys as early as possible an update on the fights. I want to hear what you guys have to say about those fights. Um... People are comparing Terrence Crawford's performance to Canelo. I want to say that Terrence had all the data necessary to deal with Amir Khan. So they went into this fight knowing they could take him out and take him out rather uh, systematically. So um, some people are saying Amir Khan quit. I would say that his corner quit and he agreed with his corner. So I, I think he was not trying to stop the fight. I think he was going to try and fight to the bitter end. But um, I do believe also that inside of him, though, was he realized there was no chance of him winning the fight because he was being outboxed by Terrence Crawford. So it is what it is. On that note, um, you guys can always subscribe to my channel. Don't forget you can donate to my channel via Western Union or MoneyGram. I can give you the details. 
You guys have a great, great day today. Happy Easter to everybody. Peace. I'm gone.